Ms. Harvard, what do you do for a living? I'm a substitute teacher this past school year and do artwork on the side. Okay, this is what your case is about. You took a job with the defendants who own a yoga shop, and the job was to paint a mural on one of the walls in their yoga shop. You took this job in July of last year. According to you, you started work on this mural in August of last year with an agreed upon price of $375, which included the cost of supplies. The defendants gave you $150 to cover the supplies and you started work. At some point, five months later, they told you that they no longer wanted you in the shop to work on the mural. There was some sort of a disagreement where you claimed that one of the defendants sort of pushed you out the door. And even if you finished the mural, you would have been entitled to, let's see, 375 minus the 150 that they gave you equals 225. So you're suing them for breach of contract for $5,000. It's ridiculous. <laughs> for breaching the contract to paint the mural, because they ultimately decided that they didn't like this mural and they painted over it. That doesn't necessarily impact your $225 if, in fact, you completed the mural. Now, this kerfuffle that happened in the store in December, when you claimed that he became angry, that would be Mr. Jones, and pushed you towards the door after he asked you to leave because you were angry with each other. After that incident, did you go to the hospital? No. no. Did you go Your to the Honor. doctor? No, Did you no, take no. any pictures of any physical injuries? No. no. Good. So the punitive damages for assault is eliminated from your complaint because he didn't assault you. He didn't assault you. Assault requires some physical injury, and you were not physically injured in any way. This is not going to be a windfall for you. Now, I'd like to see a sketch of what you told them that you were going to paint. Your Honor, um, I have sketches. Now, just show me a, a sketch of what you were yeah. going to paint for them. What you showed them when they said, okay, here's $150, start painting in August. Your Honor, I didn't have it ready in the... I have a lot of photographs of I it I don't want any photographs. Stages. I want to see a sketch of uh, what you told my... them that you were going to paint for them because they would have had to have seen a sketch. Do you have a sketch of what she said she was going to paint for you? No, she just brought in a picture. She what? She brought in pictures of sketches. Yeah, I brought in actual sketches to them that I... Fine, do you have any of those? I didn't have the actual sketches. Uh, uh, I meant to bring them, Your Honor. Okay, Here is okay. one of them. Okay, I'll just take a look at one. I want to get some idea of what... And I have... Just a second, is this what you're talking about? Yes, and I have... And how many of these little stick figures were you supposed to do? I sketched, there were... Um, mermaids to the left, there were other images of children on the right side of the mural. Okay, now, at the time that you stopped working, I want to see a, phot a photograph of what the mural looked like. Okay. The final no, no, images are on this, no, but I have... I can't see anything with that, and I have no implement to do it. I just want to see what the wall looked like the last day that you were able to work on it. These two of them here. Okay. Here's one. Also, this is uh, one of the last images I have of it. This one. Okay. I'm not putting all of this together. Okay. If this is the mural that you took a photograph of in the yoga shop, yes. if this is what it looked like, what would this, is this? That, it's 35 feet long and about five and a half feet high. So that is not in that image. It, I didn't have an image of the whole thing because it was so long. Um, that is an image of a boy that's to the right on well, a Well, I have to see the whole island. thing. Right, I have other images for you. And that's not even hers, Your Honor. The mermaids were by another artist. Just a second. I understand that you brought in another artist in September because things were going very slowly. Yes, ma'am. You brought in another artist whose name was? Kim. Somebody that you knew. Yes, she worked next door to our store. Okay. Listen to me carefully. Did you paint this or did Kim? No, I did not do the initial mermaids. I did. And I'm not interested in the mermaids. Just, just when they were done. I want to see what you did. Yes. 